10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. Lift off. M1D propulsion is nominal. Two plus forty seconds. Everything looking good? That's the call out, says M1D engines are throttling down, getting ready to reduce vehicle acceleration in preparation for the period of maximum dynamic pressure. We're in the bottom of the throttle bucket, as they call it. Now the Merlin engines coming back up to full power as we get ready to go supersonic. Vehicle is supersonic. Supersonic, we're coming through the period of maximum dynamic pressure. Vehicle has reached maximum aerodynamic pressure. Guidance engineer confirms we're through the period of greatest pressure on the vehicle. Continuing downrange, trajectory looks good. Propulsion looks good. Avionics looks good. And back chill has started. That announcement from stage two propulsion. We are now beginning to chill in the turbo pump on the upper stage engine to get ready for its ignition coming up in about 45 seconds. Nice view from the SpaceX cameras at Cape Canaveral as we head east out of Space Launch Complex 40 into the first of two orbits planned for today. This orbit is the parking orbit, a low Earth orbit uh, trajectory that will take us uh, over the equator and will eventually relight the upper stage engine to transfer us into the desired geostationary transfer orbit. Now main engine cutoff, or MECO, coming up in several seconds, followed by pneumatic separation. The first stage pushes away from the second stage, and then ignition of the second stage engine. Stage Miko. separation confirmed. Miko on time. Stage up looks good. And the call out, MVAC D engine is at full power. The view on the left screen, you can see the large titanium grid fins now slowly opening. That begins about a two minute period as we slowly rotate the first stage around to get it ready to come back through the atmosphere and land on the drone ship in the Atlantic off the east coast of Florida. Right hand side, second stage engine glowing red. That's normal for the MVAC D. Trajectory. Trajectory is nominal, we've heard from the guidance engineer. Great views coming from space. We're coming up on fairing deploy. Fairing separation confirmed. And we've heard the call out from the avionics engineer. Fairing separation is confirmed. I think you can see in the background behind the MVAC D nozzle, uh, one half of the fairing way in the distance uh, as it went past the camera.